What is up guys and welcome back to Coaching In Rules. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you five tips you should do before a game. Now as a basketball player, you will have things like pre-season, regular season matches and playoffs. All different scenarios, right? But of course, you have to have a time where you need to prep and make sure you are ready for the game going forward. So here are a couple of tips on what you should do to help you prep. Number one is to calm your nerves. And that could be calming your nerves by doing anything. That could be reading, writing, it could be uh, playing video games, or it could be just be listening to music, or it could just be uh, sleeping even. So yeah, guys, that's the one thing you need to remember is that calming your nerves is so important because I feel like as a player, you're gonna be nervous. Some people don't play with nerves, so cool. they play, you know, straight away with like, without any type of um, fear, they'll play with confidence. But some players will have fear. And so that's why I'm saying to you guys, take your mind away from basketball and just relax. Remember guys, calm your nerves. The second thing you should do is warm up, stretch and meditation. I know three things in one, but all three of these things are important because warming up helps you uh, loosen up your muscles and then stretching helps you loosen them up even more. All right, you're getting yourself ready and prepared before the game. And then of course, meditation helps you relax your mind. So you're warming up your body, then you're relaxing it. And then of course, you're relaxing your mind. Those three things are important. It doesn't matter what order you do it in, but as long as you do those three, you should be fine. Number three is talking to your teammates. Now guys, this is really important. Well, all of these tips I'm about to give you are important, but this one I think is key because again, you are playing on a team. So getting to know your teammates, bonding with them is another way of you guys just trying to get together before the game and just understanding each other. You guys could be talking about personal issues, you can be talking about how your day is going, you can be talking about any type of topic. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as you guys are relaxing together and understanding each other's like tendencies and whatnot, you should be fine. Keep the talk minimal when it comes to basketball. Maybe just talk about like, you know, um, did you watch the game last night or did you see this type of play that happened on YouTube or something? Those type of things. Try not to talk about the actual in-game you're about to get ready for, ready for because sometimes, I'm not saying it can spark any arguments or anything like that, but it's just everybody has different intentions. Number four, outing with your friends. I think going on an outing with your friends is good, especially if you have a couple hours before the game. So let's say, for example, if your game's at six o'clock, you know, between 12 and five, you should be trying to, you know, trying to find somewhere, something to do, somewhere to go, maybe to a restaurant to eat or even to a theme park or to an arcade. Um, I don't know, somewhere, somewhere fun, somewhere it just takes your mind off things, all right? So don't stress yourself, guys. Remember, guys, you're out there to enjoy yourself. And then, of course, when it hits like, you know, 4 or 5 p.m., that's when you should be prepping for your game and ready to go, guys. Yeah. So make sure, guys, you do utilize your friends. Lastly, number five. Talk to your coach about your game plan. Not even just your game plan, but the whole team's game plan, yeah? What does your coach want you to do? Does he have set targets? Does he need you to be in certain positions? Does he just need you to come off the bench? Does he need you to start? Anything like that. And also guys as well, talk to your coach about anything else as well that helps you take your mind away from the game. Because again, it's all about preparation at this point. You shouldn't really be going too much into detail about what you're going to do. Of course, you know, talking to your, game, talking to your coach about game plan, yeah, you go into detail, but also let him know, coach, this is what's on my mind. This is how I'm feeling, or this is what I'm going through. Because again, a coach is there to listen, and he's also there to mentor as well, I believe. So make sure, guys, you express to your coach what exactly you're going through or what you need from him. All in all, guys, try and utilize these five tips as much as you can. It doesn't have to be in any particular order for you to do. As long as it helps you prepare for the game and whatnot, you should be fine. It doesn't have to be, oh, meditation first or, or reading first or talking to your coach first. Again, mix it up, try different styles of it, do what works for you. And if you guys just apply these five things, I'm sure these will help you go along the way. Well, that's gonna be pretty much it for the video, guys. If you did like it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share, Comment down below your thoughts and subscribe and I will see you for the next time. Peace.